Welcome to Learn to Crochet with Daisy. In today's lesson, we will learn how to change colors, attach new yarn, and weave in your ends. I have here with me two rows of 10 DC. I will chain three and turn for row three. I'm going to work halfway across and then change colors. Two. Three. So that's one, two, three, four. The next one will be my last stitch before I change colors. Begin making a DC like you would normally, but don't complete it. Stop when you have two loops left on the hook. Leaving a long tail, cut the yarn. And take the new color. Leave a long tail to weave in later. Loop it around your hook like this and pull through completing the previous DC. Continue working normally with the new color. I'm going to make one more row so that it will be easy to show you how to sew in the ends. Now I've completed this row. Cut the yarn leaving a long tail. So this is how you change colors and when changing colors you need to remember to stop just before completing the previous stitch. Attaching new yarn is exactly the same as changing colors. Instead of adding a different color, you will add new yarn in the same color. So here are our tails. Let us see how to sew them in. While sewing in your tails, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. One, you should sew them into stitches of the same color. Make sure that the stitches are not too tight or too loose. Go back and forth at least three times so that it does not unravel. And each time go into a different place. So here is my yarn needle. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. Just insert your hook needle into the same color that you are sewing in. And then next time, do not go into the same place, go into a different place. It's important that you don't pull the thread too much. If you pull the thread too much, it will pull on the work and your work will bend over here. And you don't want to do that. So we've gone up and down twice. I'm going to go in one more time. So we came out through this loop. I'm going to insert it into this loop.
and cut off your yarn now this thread is secure let us do the same with this thread too This is how you change colors, attach new yarn and sew in your ends. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Keep practicing all the stitches we have learned so far. I'll see you in the next tutorial where we will learn how to work in the round. Happy hooking!